All right, thanks, guys. The Magics take on the Wizards. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in the nation's capital. Washington is minus 6, totals 219. The Wizards are just 3-9 and nine against the spread overall for the season. They failed to cover in 6 out of their last 7 as the official Vegas favorite. Really not good laying the points. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Magic, 4-1 ATS in their games on the road. They also successfully covered the number in four out of their last five games as the official road underdog. Orlando's also four and one straight up in their last five contests, three and two against the spread in that very same category. And scoring wise, Washington's eight and four to the over, three and one to the over in their games at home. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take the underdog Orlando Magic plus six in the over 219 in this one. Next game, Sixers, Heat, 7.30 Eastern tip-off in Miami. The Heat are minus two, total open 223 and a half down to 221. Miami successfully covered the number in two out of their last four. Miami's also two and one against the spread in their last three, taking on teams over 500. Meanwhile, on the other side, Philly's just five and nine against the spread overall. They failed to cover in six out of their last seven away from home. And scoring-wise, this Miami team is 9-3 to the over so far for the season, 5-2 and two to the over in their games on their home court. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take the chalky play in this one. Give me Miami minus 2 and the over, 221 in this one. With that said, I just want to quickly take a time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Monday's NBA action. But before we get into some more of that, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash brockpage. And with the documented win percentage of 60% for the entire year of 2017, you're certainly costing yourself some valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now, memberships uh, begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to just hit that pause button right now. Open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take you a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. Let's go ahead and slide back into some more lines and personal leans. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Pelicans, Raptors, 730 tip off in Toronto. The Raptors are minus nine, totals 229 and a half. Now, Toronto's eight and five against the spread overall, four and three ATS as the official home favorite. Toronto's won five out of their last six straight up at home. They've also successfully covered the number in four out of their last six in that very same category. Meanwhile, on the New Orleans side of things, they failed to cover in four out of their last six as the official road underdog. They're just 2-5 and five against the spread versus winning ball clubs this season. And scoring-wise, Toronto's 9-4 and four to the over, 6-1 and one to the over in their games at home. So with all that said and done, give me Toronto minus 9 and the over, 229 and a half in this one. Next game, Jazz, Grizzlies, 8 o'clock tip-off in Memphis. Utah opened up 2, now minus 3, total open 205 and a hook, down to 203 and a half. Memphis is 7-4 against the spread overall for the season, a perfect 5-0 against the spread in their games at home. The Grizzlies have also successfully covered the number in their last two ball games, 5-2 ATS in their last seven. Now the Jazz on the other side, they're just 4-5 against the spread as the official Vegas favorite. They've also failed to cover in four out of their last Six ball games. Utah's 0-2 against the spread in their last two away from home. Now scoring wise, Utah's 9-3 to the over so far for the season. 4-2 to the over in their games on the road. Meanwhile, on the Grizzlies side of things, they're 3-2 to the over in their games on their home court. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take another underdog in this one. Give me Memphis plus 3 in the over. 203 and a half in this one. Next game, Mavericks, Bulls, 8 o'clock Chicago. The Bulls are minus two, totals 220 and a half. Chicago's eight and five ATS overall, five and two against the spread in their games on their home court. Chicago's also successfully covered the number in five out of their last six. They're three and one against the spread in their last four at home as well. Now on the Dallas side of things, they're just three and three against the spread on the road, two and three against the spread, taking on teams under 500. Dallas has also failed to win outright in seven out of their last nine. They're also a winless 0-6 straight up in their last six on the road. Now, total-wise, 
Chicago's 8-5 and five to the under so far for the season, 5-2 and two to the under in their games on their home court. So with all that said and done, give me Chicago minus 2 and the under 220.5 in this one. Next game, Suns Thunder, 8 o'clock tip-off in Oklahoma City. The Thunder, a minus 8.5, totals 217 and a hook. OKC 7-5 ATS overall, a perfect 4-0 straight up in their last four at home. They're taking on a Phoenix team who's 0-3 straight up in their last trio of ball games. They've also lost 10 out of their last 11 straight up. Phoenix has also failed to cover in four out of their last five on the road. Five and seven ATS as the underdog. One and four ATS as the official road underdog. And scoring wise, both teams seven and five to the under overall. So with all that said and done, I'm going to purchase the hook, slide it down, and take OKC minus eight and the under two seventeen and a half in this one. Next game, Nets uh, Nets Timberwolves. Where's that at? Oh, there we go. Nets Timberwolves, 8 o'clock tip off in Minnesota. Minnesota's minus four totals 223 and a half. Brooklyn's five and three ATS on the road, six and four against the spread as the official underdog. The Nets have also won three out of their last four straight up, three and one against the spread in those four ball games. Meanwhile, on the Minnesota side, they're just five and eight ATS overall, one and two ATS as the favorite laying the points. Minnesota's also a winless 0-5 straight up in their last five ball games, 1-4 against the spread in that very same category. So once again, I got to take another underdog here on this Monday night. Give me Brooklyn plus four in the under 223 and a half in this one. Next game, Spurs, Kings, 10 o'clock tip off in Sacramento. The Spurs open three and a half down to three, total open 220 down to 216 and a half. Now Sacramento's nine and four against the spread overall for the season. 5-1 ATS in their last six at home. They're taking on a Spurs squad who's failed to cover in two out of their last three. They're also just 3-3 three and three against the spread in their last six games, laying the points. Now, total-wise, Sacramento's 5-1 to the under at home, 3-0 and to the under in their last three at home as well. Meanwhile, on the Spurs side of things, they're 3-1 and to the under in their last four ball games themselves. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take another underdog here. Give me Sacramento plus three and the under 216 and a half in this one. And that's going to bring me to my next and final game for our NBA slate of Monday night action. And that's going to be Golden State at the LA Clippers. 1030 tip off in Los Angeles. Golden State open three, now minus two and a half. Totals 236 and a half. Golden State seven and six ATS overall. Four and one against the spread in their games on the road. Golden State successfully won in nine out of their last 10 straight up. They're eight and two against the spread in that very same span of 10 ball games. Meanwhile, on the Clippers side of things, they failed to cover in three out of their last six. They're also just two and five against the spread as the official Vegas underdog. This Los Angeles defense gave up 122 points per contest in their last three losses as well. Now, scoring wise, Golden State's 4-1 to the over in their games on the road. LA's 3-3 three three to the over in their games at home. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take Golden State minus 2 after buying the hook and the over 236.5 in this one. All right, we're going to slide into some college basketball action real quick. And we are going to start off with Stanford at UNC, 7 o'clock tip-off in North Carolina. Uh, UNC is minus 17, totals 155. Stanford is 2-0 against the spread so far for the season, 2-0 straight up as well. Stanford is scoring uh, 84, point, uh, 84 points per game in those two contests. So uh, I think that's a big number to cover there, uh, but I think Stanford can keep it at least close. Give me Stanford plus 17, getting the job done on the road in that one. Next game, Buffalo at Southern Illinois. 8 o'clock tip-off at Southern Illinois. Buffalo uh, open minus 3, up to minus 3.5. Totals 152.5. Buffalo's 2-0 straight up for the season. Uh, big upset win against West Virginia. Their offense uh, is scoring 91 points per contest. And once again, big upset of WVU in overtime on Friday night. Meanwhile, uh, Southern Illinois, the Salukis, they suffered a 12-point loss to the University of of Kentucky. So with all that said and done, I'm going to purchase the hook, slide it down, and take the Buffalo Bulls, minus three, getting the job done against the number in that one. 
Then uh, my next game, I think that's my next and final game for our, N, uh, our NCAA slate. That is going to be Oklahoma at Texas San Antonio. 8 o'clock tip-off at UTSA. Oklahoma opened 6.5, now 8.5. Totals 157 and a hook. Oklahoma scored 